All righty. Well, I'm loading the boat for tomorrow with a with all my tackle. I'm getting ready after weeks and weeks of high wind, high winds, passing of a tropical storm today. So I'm loading the boat up right now for 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I have no earthly idea after all this what that river is even going to look like what we're going to get, what kind of bites. But all I know is I want to go to the jetties. And you know what? I was loading up some rods here. Let me get these tigers in the boat. Well, I'm not going to be able to do that holding the camera. Let's see. I can't pick them all up at one time holding the camera. I could pick up one. And I know Aura Walk sent me a bunch of videos. What is the best, ow, god dang, I just stuck myself. What is the best striper rod? Under $100. And he's showing me, I haven't seen them yet. I haven't seen these videos. If you don't know who Aura Walk is, it's my buddy Gary. My buddy Gary is the guy who's the helpful Handy mechanic, outboard mechanic, up in Long Island, New York. He's up there, and uh, he's a commenter. He's a viewer. He sent me videos. We swap videos back and forth. What is the best striper rod? I'm holding the goddamn best striper rod. I'm holding it. If this is the best damn overall rod for me on my boat with redfish and stuff, I take this exact same rod and reel. Exact same thing! That we'll be catching croakers to a redfish with tomorrow. And I use it for king mackerel trolling. Let me take the reel cover off. And that's one thing you can do with these. You can put a reel cover on it to keep it nice and clean. Yeah, that right there. I mean, I'm not some serious King Mackerel tournament dude. I don't give a hoot. But as I've mentioned in a million different times, in the heat of the summer when it is absolutely miserable every single day, unlike now in November when the weather's so bad that you can't even do crap, I had a friend catch 60 and 90 pound wah. Woo! on a Shimano Triton 200. This is a 100 with that little handle. And I said, but how'd you do it? And he says, oh, I chased them with the boat. I had to chase them with the boat. Well, of course. For under $100, right there, Ugly Stick Tiger. And I'll tell you what the same exact rod is. This is a uh, seven foot medium light action, 12 to 30 pound half to four ounce that's what this rod is but basically let me wait a minute i see a i see a smudge on the camera hold on this is one of these real spontaneous like videos folks hold on all right honey can you see me better now you noticed i shaved <laughs> yeah the pure white beard i don't know you know, I kind of got allergies. I got to go every every two weeks and get an allergy shot in each each, each arm. And uh, it's kind of like a reoccurring thing. I mean, I had allergies when I was a kid in Texas, you know. Um, and I guess with old age, now it's kind of coming back. I had a lot of sinus issues, lots of sinus issues. So they think that it's allergies. But... Um, at the same time, they're giving me these shots and not necessarily because of the beard itself, not hair on your face, baby. But anytime I do not crop it, I don't know, maybe it's hair on your face. It got real itchy and I got redness. I always get red like on my cheeks and that's part of the allergy shots or something. 
So it was it itched right here and right here, right on my jowls. So I cut it off. Going back to the old uh, goatee, the goat. So either way, you can save, I think, 99% of the time. If you really wanted to, this is the same. You can get the same thing in just black. And it might have a, you know, a little bit variations in, in um, actions. But the ugly stick, big water. I was looking at tiger rods, right? And they're usually, let's say, $69.99, $59.99, something like that, right? And I noticed, now this is on UglyStick.com. That's where I do my shopping or my looking. But the Ugly Stick Big Water, seven foot, same type of action, same thing, same gimbal, same eyes, I believe was $10 cheaper. So you can save. So, Gary, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I haven't watched the videos yet. And by the time you watch this, I will have watched the videos. But, I don't know. Everybody wants to reinvent the wheel. This right here, <laughs> they'll do it all. Look at the tiger that caught a god dang 100-pound black tip on a topwater plug. Look at that. An 8-foot absolute buggy whip so i mean really can you go wrong with a tiger but that's not the reason i'm even doing this video and i know the light's not going to be great so let me get out let me get out one of my my, my mobile lights because you know the as I always say, you know, when you got all that bullshit in your T-top and, and your dancing neon lights all around the bus, guess what? It still doesn't shine exactly where you want. Always, always have a light that goes with you. That's my theory. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this light on and I'm going to put it up in my T-top to shine brightly on what I'm going to talk about. Okay, here's what I was talking about, or wanting to tell you about. Yeah, I get people, and I mean, I'm not supplying customers with every single kind of rod known to humankind. Okay? It's either a rod for bottom fishing, right? This right here. That's our bottom fishing. Right? Or if we're going to do any casting, I bring along the spinnerators, you know, the egg beaters, the Finor uh, lethal egg beaters. And these are on an ugly stick striper. <laughs> Go figure, Gary. And these, you know, they don't make these in the super light, they just don't make them. I don't know why. What is their problem? What is their problem? This is a medium heavy, three eighths to one ounce. Why don't they make like a quarter to half ounce? If you can read that. All right, so I had this video that all the wackos gave me a bunch of grief about. Just like smashing the pen reel. It was such a trigger to all the people who are going to talk out their ass okay but i did that why i despise spinning tackle right because if you grew up with it it's fine and dandy if you're on your personal boat doing what you want to do i'm not on your boat I'm not on your little flats boat. I'm doing what I do. And when I do a video, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me, right? If you don't like it, turn it off and go watch some guy with his spinning reels. But I'm gonna tell you, 
Here's the real reason why I despise spinning tackle. I've got to have it. I've got to have it for my customers. But I despise it in every way. Okay, let's go over it. So, there's a spinning rod sitting in my rod holders on the side of my console. Right? Okay. So I take another one and I put it in here. Right? Okay. There you go. Spinning reel, spinning reel, spinning rod, spinning rod, sticking out guide. Now let me go over here and grab this casting rod. Woo, about to lose it. And let me put it in my rod holder. Okay, everything's standing there. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, all you triggered individuals. When I'm talking about me, this is what I'm talking about, the reason I hate spinners. Okay, look at that. Nothing is kind of sticking out. Look how much they're sticking out in a rod holder. Look at there's the guides for a caster. There's the guides for an egg beater rod. Right? There you go. All the way up. They stick out. Right? And I'll tell you, you put rod holders on the side of some little boat. Right? Some small boat, 17 footer with spinning reel handles. And look at, you got to almost... I've got to loosen up the drag and turn that son of a gun to get that god dang handle in. Okay. So then I go over here. Now you may think, oh man, stop crying. That's what, hey, that's what even the libtards say, right? Stop crying. I'm not crying. I'm telling you fact on my boat. I don't give a shit about what you're doing on your boat. Right? So, fact that now I put those there, and as I'm riding around, here's what's happening. These things are flipping and flopping and smacking. So what do I do? I gotta go in here, all right? I gotta go in here and I gotta pick it up and I gotta hide these god dang giant ass handles behind each rod. Okay, which I can't even do one-handed, but you're getting the idea. I've got to turn this handle, get this stupid ass thing, so it lays flat. Now look at them. Okay, that's what I've got to do. So do you get the point of why I hate these things? You know, on my boat? Then I take them and I put them up here in my leaning post. Flipping and flopping, look at this bullshit here, okay? People sit on this cooler. This lid goes, just misses it, this lid, okay? Just misses it. Okay, let's go over here and grab another one of these. Woo! One-handed. All right, on my boat, my boat. Okay, there you go. Sticking out, look at the guides, sticking out. But you know the nice thing I can do about these? Because of the gimbal butt. Okay, let me get rid of this one I got in my hand. No, let me put this one up here too. Okay, so there's the argument. There's the argument. Now, when people are sitting here, they're not getting this goddamn thing slapping them in the back all the time. But what could I do? Oh, Dave, just turn them around. They got a gimbal on it, too. Just turn it around. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Then what it's doing then? It's hitting me in the back. Because I'm sitting up here sometimes, okay? Yeah, okay. 
then that's flipping and flopping around. That's what this video is about. I really, really, you know, loves. I wish I could do a video. I should do a video about the comments that I got on the video about why I hate spinning reels. Oh, you're not holding it right. Oh, well, you know what? If you watch the video, I show you what potentially people do. Not what I do. I know how to use all tackle. All tackle. Okay? Only thing I've never used is one of those Alvi reels, I believe, from down in uh, Australia. Those big spools that go on like a big spinning reel. They even have their own rods for like major surf casting and it turns, right? And it turns into a spinner, but for casting it turns into, well, for no, for reeling in, it turns into like a, like a regular, you know, conventional reel. But then for casting, it turns into a spinner. Alvi reels. Is, it's the only thing I've never thrown in my entire life. I've fly fished. I grew up fly fishing. I actually grew up, I, when I was a kid, I fly fished in a native trout streams with smallmouth bass in it. Okay, even. So, there's the video. That's the crap I got to put up with because I got to take these things. I don't have to, but I do. Because I want sometimes to people to be able to cast to some structure or something along. But that's just me, okay? So I'm doing this. This is a Dave problem. And yeah, I get over it, but I'm just trying to explain. I'll put the video link below or in the card at the end of the video. There's those squares that show up. I'll put it in there of why I hate spinning tackle. But what this is just going to be, I think I just might call this loading the boat, okay? Trials and tribulations of loading my boat. I don't ever pick one of these up on purpose. <laughs> I don't have to. I got two Daiwa Ryogas right up there. They'll outcast these spinning reels with the exact amount of weight on them. How about that? How about that? I'll talk to you later. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think